And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rapping like that. Jerry West versus Rum Nitty. Now, Jerry West. Salute to Jerry West. We have watched your meteoric rise. You have came from being almost, almost an afterthought, mm -hmm. I will be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had had some battles, you know, you battled X-Factor, that was cool. Mm -hmm. You battled Jack Boy Main, that was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you had battles, you know, that, that, that were cool, but they weren't, they weren't getting you into the starting lineup. And I always talk about this when it comes to battle rap. You got battle rappers that are here and battle rappers that they care. When I say they care, they're putting you on cards, you getting names, you getting promotion, you getting big looks. I didn't really care about you the last couple of years, but when you went crazy, crazy, crazy versus glue, that kind of like catapulted you from the bench into the starting lineup. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh shit, he needs attention. Now, that third round, you called out Smack, you called out the U.R. You did everything that you were supposed to do mm. in that battle to get you here. And now it looks like it's payback. Mm. We're going to put you in front of a killer. You wanted names, you wanted smoke. Well, guess what? You got all that in Rum Nitty. Mm. Um, yeah, Rum Nitty is one of those guys we all know. To me, I feel like he's the best, the best puncher in the world. Line for line for line, yes. rapid punches, yep. line for line for yes, line. Yeah. You, you hear some of his lines and you be like, what the hell? How did he even think of that? He's just going line for line for line. And you know Jerry West, you know, he does the um he does the, the, the special moves where he does little tricks, you know what I'm saying, where he has a little speaker or he does all types of those things, which is fire, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Rum Nitty, I mean, he got lines, he got punches for days. Days. He he could use anything. He could be like blazing at his chest, aiming at his vest, doctor standing over him like, wake up, Mr. West! Like that shit would be he be wilding on niggas like that. Mm. And you yeah, and it's very hard to stop him when he's on his A game. Mm. Now, for Jerry West, I'm happy you're getting this look. Make the best of your opportunity that's in front of you. We're gonna break it down even further, but I just need to be, I need to open it up like this is your, this is your coming out party. You do good versus Rum Nitty, you got Gnome, you got Summer Man, you got everything. You in the light right now, you getting that light. That Geechee Gotti got, that New Jersey Twerk got, that a lot of people that's around y'all that's, that's on the same, they ain't getting. They ain't getting that light. Hell no. I just see, you see MCs leave and go to other leagues to battle. Reason why? They not getting that light. Mm. You got the light. Make the best of it. Now let's get into the actual battle. What do you think about Jerry West versus Rum Nitty? My guy. They wanted to shoot. Jerry West said, I want a shooter. I want a shooter. And you know what Smack Wing got? Out of town shooters. Out of town shooters. You don't pay, what'd he say? You don't pay to hold a fuck you. <laughs> you pay to leave. <laughs> Out of town shoot. Jerry, you are in a lose-lose situation. Uh -huh. If you lose, uh -huh. you know, you do you go back down to the barrel? It's not like that, no. So Jerry knows that the opportunity is here. This is where he has to do his biggest standout performance. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Jerry is going to go with the antics though. Because Rum Nitty is what? Punchliner, line for line. If if I'm recall, if I don't if I'm not saying that Jerry West does it, Jerry West does more than just little antics. He has the bars. Cause we broke down one, two. I know I broke down at least three Jerry West battles. So, Jerry West has the bars. He has the performance. It's just going up against somebody who does all of that on a consistent basis. So, Jerry has to have 
the potent ones. Like it has to every single one of the little you can't have no dry spots. You can't have no low points. Cause Rum Nitty is not gonna give you that. Mm -hmm. Rum Nitty is not going to slack at all on you. Mm -hmm. Time limit though. Mm -hmm. That's the only factor that I can have Jerry West swing the uh the, the opinion to go into one for him. But as of right now, I you, you, I can't go against him. But as much as I want to say Jerry West, you can't beat Rummy, man. Like, and, and I'm not saying not you, Jerry West, can beat Rummy. It, it's vets, the goats that can't beat Rummy. Mm -hmm. Rummy. The metal spread put his had the dots put in his insides back in like devil. Ass. Come on. Man, I like Jerry West. Um, for me, my my mantra is Jerry West don't die. Um, anything mm. less than dying is, is, is not bad. Battle rap, all I need for you to, this is just my personal opinion Go ahead. and into my internal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Jerry West shows up, Jerry West gives me a good performance. Yep. Win, lose, or draw, as long as he brings fire. <laughs> it's like a Chilla Jones versus Rum Nitty. Yeah. I don't care who won. Don't I mean, I'm highly entertained. <laughs> exactly. As long as I'm entertained, as long as both people bring the A game mm -hmm. and nobody dies. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? You bring the fight. Once you bring the fight to somebody, I, like it is what it is. Now, I would like for you to get a W. Everybody, we would like for it to happen. I would love for you to come there and show out versus one of the best the game has to offer. Mm. Don't get it twisted. You need to go in there with that winner's mentality, mm. you know. But Rum Nitty. It's not glue easy. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to. You're not about to glue easy, Rum Nitty. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I know that uh, the problem in some of Rum Nitty's battles has been the round times. Like he'll have shorter rounds uh -huh. because he's heavily potent. Mm -hmm. But you see, he kind of changed that up yeah. versus, versus yeah. Chilla, Rum Chilla Jones. Mm -hmm. He said, "Uh, uh. The only reason why this is debatable is because of because of my rounds." And then he starts going more and going more and going more. And See, you, you know, the difference, I'm going to tell you what it is, right? I know what it is. They love Rum Nitty. Second round Nitty. Mm. First K-Shine. It was going crazy. He, he had a little stumble fumble in his third, but he still picked it up and started going crazy. He's still going crazy, yeah. He was already at like 3.30 when he even got to the stumble point, mm. but he picked it up and still kept going. Rum Nitty has the experience. Mm -hmm. Rum Nitty has better punches. Yeah. Rum Nitty has a crazy cadence. You know, Rum Nitty rebuttals a little bit. Just a little bit. He's working on it. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the one part of his game that he can step up a little bit more to rebuttals. You know what I'm saying? But right. he, he punches so crazy that it compensates for what mm -hmm. it... Any deficiency in his game is overcompensated by the level of... Oh, this is getting nice right here. Yeah. It, it, it gets overcompensated by the, by the punch rate. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Mm. I just need you to show up. And not die. Everything else, if, if, and I don't think Jerry, I, I, in my heart, mm. I feel like the most stealable round for Jerry West, to me, this is just to me, the most stealable round will either be the first or the second, or the most stealable. But to me, you can shock it. If he goes second, mm. and Rum Nitty has a good or not the greatest first round, but mm. it's hard to say that because his rounds is it's all intense. crazy anyway. Yeah. So... Even his lazy stuff, like him versus King James, that was supposed to be a lazy. Him versus Boris, Boris Major, that was supposed to be a throwaway battle. Like, he was wild. On, like, this is not. He checks the other way, like Travis Scott ones. He was wild like, on that man. If he was, so, it, oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, damn, my head hurts. Okay. Mine's dope, man. Uh. Jerry, the the my advice for Jerry was versus John John. I needed him to survive. Word on the street is that he did survive. Mm -hmm. In this one, you gonna have to draw blood. Mm. This is the only like like it, you're gonna do good. I I know that, but in this one, in order to make it different from all the other ones, you're gonna have to draw some blood on Rome. I got two words though. T top made it possible. I got two words. Trap game. It's kind of a trap game for Rum Nitty. Mm. I was watching. Um, a clip with K-Shine the other day, and he said he made a very valid point when in correspondence to newer guys battling against people that have been around for a while, you know, veterans and people that have got clout mm -hmm. and are established. He said, veteran beats rookie 
you don't get nothing for that because you're supposed to do it. Correct. They beat you and they get everything. Mm -hmm. So he said some of the times when the people, he didn't say him, he's just saying in regards. I don't remember if he said this specifically, but I'm just saying this. Sometimes when the veterans battle people that are below them, they don't really take the battle super crazy because they don't have nothing to gain from it. Mm -hmm. The rookie, that's why I say trap game. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a good football team. One day they'll play a team that's not good like the Giants and then mess around and lose because they, they, didn't, they didn't play hard because it's like, this is a game we're supposed to win anyway. Yeah. So, trap game. If he gets caught in a trap game scenario, as in he's battling somebody who he really feel like he should be getting bigger than because, you know, he battled Saga last. Yeah. He kind of got caught in a trap game situation there because Saga was not supposed to even be in that battle. Yeah. Then he comes out and they hate my father. It's fair to get out of line like Tay Rock, boy. He starts wilding mm -hmm. and using shit that we even use. Hold on, 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 I, 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 I will use that, um, even with that scenario, I think I'm still safe with um, Rum Nitty 2 1. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. But, Jerry West, show up. Show up. Yo, yo. Do your thing. And I, the, Jerry, I met you at Survivor Series. Like, mm -hmm. you probably don't remember. It's right. all good. Right. But. It was before you battled Jack Wayne. I said, you gonna kill. I said, I need you to kill that man in his own house. And then I seen you later after the event. He's like, man, I survived in Richmond. I'm like, you damn sure did. Mm -hmm. This is a same situation. Surviving is the is is a main tactic. We know you're gonna survive. This one, I need you to draw blood mm -hmm. on this one. You gonna have to draw blood. But 182-1, it could be it could be toppled. It could be toppled. Um, but I will say this for Jerry. Jerry has been. Asking for this for a while. Yeah. Jerry is more than prepared because he's been around since 16. Yeah. You know, he came in with Av. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The same in time. Class, he yeah. ain't get none of them looks. Nope. So he's red shirted for like three years. You 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 notice you're like a three year red shirt right now. You might got a little battle here and there, but come on. This is the look for you. This mm. is this look right here is bigger than probably all your other looks combined. Him yeah. versus Rumney on a big card. On a big card, yeah. It's bigger than every. It should be bigger. Well, John John was a big look. John, say, John, John was a big look. They came out yet though. Yeah, they we don't out, know. So we don't know. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But uh, I, I I like Jerry West. I like his potential. I like what he has to offer. He does watch the channel. He said it before. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you know, he uses whatever he needs to use as the motivation to help um catapult him there in this battle. But I got Rum ninety two one because he also follows me on Twitter. Oh, okay. Listen, <laughs> social media is not going to be a deciding factor. It's in not. Battles for me. I just but, uh, <laughs> um, Charlie Clips versus K Shine. My head hurts um, again. This is a battle. You would have thought all these years that this happened already. Nope. You would have thought, I would have thought it. You know what I'm saying? I would have thought that they already had a scrap earlier in their days. Obviously, uh, you had Charlie Clips running with DNA for a long time. Uh huh. And then you had DNA now teaming up with K Shine. They're NWX, you know what I mean? We, they're, they're one of the most respected crews in battle rap. You know, mm -hmm. they have the craziest battles. Um, some of the craziest battles, they, they, they're they always prepared. When they do two on twos, they're, they're the best two on two. They, they, still, they are yeah. the apex of two on twos. Yes. Um, NWX, like, they're, they're, the way they do, like, come on, man. Back and forth, line for line. Um, I feel like. <laughs> When K Shine got with DNA, and um, you know when they when NWX formed, I felt like his game stepped up ten levels. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. He was when he first came on, he was nice. He was rapping all fast, rapping all fast. You know what I'm saying? JC with the AC, but it's like when he was just rapping like a thousand miles an hour. Mm -hmm. But now he's been able to slow it down, punch more, mm -hmm. get at get at artists, be able to you know do his steps and do it. And I feel like he's elevated his game a lot. And I'm just opening up for you, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll throw it over you and get your opinions. You good? And you had Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips, when he first came in, mm -hmm. was a fast riser. You know what I'm saying? He rose straight to the top of Battle Rap. Mm -hmm. One of my first blogs is called is Charlie Clips Killing Battle Rap. And and the reason this battle, this is a blog that I shot four years ago. I think it's still on my channel. It's one of the first blogs I ever did, right? And um and the reason why I said it's Charlie Clips killing battle rap is that was the time when he was like taking battles not seriously, yep. stumbling all over the place, freestyling and shit. And I was like, yo, he's getting paid top tier money but given these kind of performances. Mm -hmm. But since then, you know what I'm saying, since that time frame, he's given us good battles. He battled New Jersey Twerk, that was a good battle. Um, he's had other battles where he's done his thing, you know, and now 
to see, and you could tell there was a time frame where Charlie Clips wasn't even really getting booked like that on URL. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then when he was, he was getting, he, they booked him against like Av. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, no knock against that. Yeah. And um, they, they, they was not booking him against the top tier names on the top tier cards because they that felt like Clips was bullshit. They mm -hmm. was like, oh, he's bullshitting. Mm -hmm. We're not putting you on the top tier cards. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I say that to say this. This is Harlem versus Harlem. You ain't never seen Charlie Clips play with nobody from Harlem. Facts. He didn't play with Rex. Nope. He didn't play with Lux. Mm -mm. He's not playing with nobody from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Because he, I remember hearing Charlie Clips say that no matter where you go, and this is a New York thing, you know what I'm saying? I know it's like this everywhere else. No matter where you go around the world, when you go back home, you don't want to hear from your homies or in the hood or on the block when you cruising through. Yo, you got smoked by shine. You don't want to hear that. Because it hits you different when it's from where you're from. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to hear that. You want you want the love to be genuine when you cruise back through. And shine want the same thing. You don't want to come back home in the summertime. Because the thing is, a lot of people that are from somewhere don't usually live there when they get, you know, bigger or, or have success in life. Facts. And he don't want to go back home and he got smoked. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't want to hear that. But let me throw it over to you, man. Um, I've, I've said a lot about it. Talk to me. Well, I figured I, I knew that, that uh, this battle has never happened before because of the connections between DNA and K-Shine and Charlie Clips. Like, mm -hmm. it was always a thing. DNA was that the middle factor. So that's kind of, and then you kind of thought that Charlie Clips was going to end up joining NWX mm -hmm. with Charlie Clips. I thought it was DNA, Charlie Clips, and Conceited. They were part of NWX. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, that's, that was the early stages. So I knew that Kayshawn was was when he was Dot Mob. Um, even when uh, Charlie was going at everybody in Dot Mob, or he was going towards Harlem, you know Harlem cats, he was battling Rex. And at the time, Rex was a little bit higher than Shine mm -hmm. as far as stats. Right. So to Clips, in a sense, coming up, Shine was always the little bro. Right. He was always the young boy. Like he just he biting at my heels. Mm -hmm. Now. Young boy done grew up. Mm -hmm. Young boy a grown man now. Right. Young boy got a few jobs. Yeah. Got a few hustles. Got mm -hmm. a few kids out here. Right. Oh, remember that time where you was on your little run? You was doing your thing. They mm -hmm. was calling you to go. You was going up against Rex. You was going up against Hollow. You right. was going up against Lux. That's great and all. But let me tell you what I've been doing. Right. I ain't lost. Uh -huh. I ain't did the... Oh, hit me how? Okay, we'll talk about that. Uh -huh. But other than that... He ain't lost. I ain't lost. And not only I ain't lost, I be smoking niggas. Yeah. They done gave me vets from Harlem. J wait, is J Mills from Harlem? J Mills is from Harlem. Oh, ah, J Mills. Oh. <laughs> I smoke niggas like that from too, from Harlem too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Head Ice, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, yep, Harlem. See, yeah. you get what I'm saying? So it's not like... I was saying, don't say he smoked Ice though. Uh, he didn't... Yeah. Cause come I, on, he said, ice OG. he said, I ain't gotta give him that every day, kid. I can tell how the leg twitch. Come on now, stop playing with my man Ice. Nah, we ain't gonna do that today, but let's get it going. Anyway, but I'm, but not just saying, Young Boy done got big now. Young Boy got all types of that. It's gonna be very, very, very hard mm -hmm. to beat K-Shine. Mm -hmm. It used to be, it's gonna be very hard to beat Charlie Clips. Facts. Now, if this was 2015, mm -hmm. whoo. Boy, I'd have said, Charlie Clips what? What the Carmen say? Charlie mm -hmm. Clips 3 up, right? Mm -hmm. I got K-Shine with it. This one, 2-1. Mm -hmm. I mean, Charlie Clips is uh, is fire. He's he's on TV every day, mm -hmm. you know? K-Shine is very consistent. K-Shine don't really... To say K-Shine loses, lost a battle, every one of them since Hitman is, is either he won or is it debatable. Yeah. You know, <laughs> every single one. You could go up and down the line, him versus Av, him versus Geechee, him versus whoever, you know, um, him versus Danny. You know, a, a lot of those battles are either debatable or he got them, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, if it's debatable, nobody really lost, you know right. what I'm saying? But um, stage means a lot. Charlie Clips does not play with people from Harlem though. That's the one thing that keeps ringing, 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 ringing in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, I got this battle debatable, 2-1 either way. I don't have a winner. This is the one battle of the whole card that I have to see because there's so many circumstances 
that are gonna bet. People you know people haven't even thought where's DNA gonna be in this battle. Oh, he gonna flip a coin and he gonna go get some drinks. I think he probably stay in the middle. You stay in the middle. Well, I mean, you know you stay in the middle. Look, hey, flip the let coin. The, I think let them let them fight. <laughs> hey, let them hey, let them have that fate. Hey, you know what? And then they like, man, who you got? If my man got a got if my man got beef with the, my barber and we all cool. Let them fade. I'm gonna stand here and watch the fade. I ain't helping nobody. And then we we gonna we gonna all go have drinks that and, we, and, and, and keep yep. it moving afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm excited for it though. That's a very very exciting battle. Mm. Uh, that was that's a main event anywhere. Yeah. Charlie Clips versus K. Sean. That's, that's the main event. In Hall, you can in, have that in Hall. Like, <laughs> oh. That's a, that's a main event somewhere, man. I, I, I'm just I'm just. I'm very, very shocked that uh, this card is happening when it's happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like uh, you only got a couple weeks. But one thing about the Ultimate Rappers League, they don't need a lot of time to to, to once the word is out. Yeah. You know, the card just bubbles. P predictions go. People they go how they go. Mm -hmm. You know, is, is it petty? Yeah, it's petty. I mean, of course, they could have easily any league could have said, you know what, we're gonna do it here, we're gonna do it there. But no, this is a direct. This is a direct. Get the chopper! Yeah. It's like direct <laughs> shot. Yeah. Look, we don't give a fuck about nothing. And then you can hear all in the trailer. Like, I don't know if you did you watch the trailer? Oh, I watched the trailer. You heard the trailer? Yeah. If it don't count here, it <laughs> doesn't, doesn't count, matter. Right? Or it doesn't count. It doesn't count. You know, like, that was a direct if it doesn't happen here, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, listen. It basically said, it said, look, nigga. We don't give a fuck if you get 40. You might want to go get Hell Rail. Yep. You gotta go get camera. You gotta go get every motherfucker body. Yo, Tony Ayo, uh, oh. Lloyd Banks. Yep. Yep. No, not Young Boy. He liked him. He, mm, no. But uh, oh, yeah. 50, uh, everybody. <laughs> Lord. He gonna get everybody. It's a, what about the Midwest movie? He better get Nelly. He better get Murphy Lee. He better get everybody. <laughs> everybody. Shoot. Uh, because uh, it's, it's just, uh, Free. See, it's free. That's it's the free. thing. Free kills. Free kills you. Free. Oh my god! When something's free. One thing, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. Niggas love strip clubs and they love anything free. Mm. So <laughs> imagine if there was that's a free two strip crazy club. Things, but I imagine if it was a free strip club. Right? Oh my man, god! Come on, man. Free, <laughs> man. Free, free, free changes up a lot. I'm telling you, if that stream is free. Oh my god. They, this shit's getting shut. They shut shit down, man. They already shut shit down. And the only way you can see it is on the URL. You know, if you're a premium Premium member. member. I would highly suggest if you wasn't ever gonna um if you wasn't ever gonna spend that eight dollars. Hey, this is the best time to spend that eight dollars, alright? Listen, you and Rob Stapleton complain all night long. Eight dollars! <laughs> eight dollars! I don't care. Nah. Hate is eight. Get that eight, man. I'm telling you, because uh it's, it's dark out here, man. It's getting, it's getting dark, man. <laughs> it's very dark. The, 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 the graves six feet and I'm digging the deep. I got the holding homeboys hit like a beep. Y'all better call J Mill and every yo, because <laughs> this shit is nasty. Yo, but you already know what it do and what it does, so you gotta ask what it was, right? It's Gig Down My Shopify .com. Log on to get your merchandise. We're gonna uh, we're getting the last of the orders out, man. It's a hundred and something, man. Got a hundred out. It's about twenty or thirty left. We'll get those out by Monday. And um, truly appreciate everybody who's copped, everybody who's uh, supported the brand, you know what I'm saying? Because without your support, it wouldn't be what it is right now. You know, when the card came out, we're flooded with messages saying, we need it, we need it today, where y'all at? Let's get it together. Yo, we need the duo, and we truly appreciate that. That pushes us um, oh, to yeah. continue to go, go and um, do what we do. But you got anything else, man? What's up, bro? Hey, What's you think about it, man? Yo, I need your thoughts. First of all, this Genesis card is bananas. Like mm -hmm. already, is it's, it's it's already crazy. Mm -hmm. um, all of these could have been main events on five separate cards. Okay. I said that already, and and literally, um, you are uh, Tom Petty, uh, Smack. Mm -hmm. Y'all are uh, 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 the Peddingtons. Mm -hmm. Y'all went to a petting zoo, if you will. Mm -hmm. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? No need to get gas from Getty because we already petty. Anyway. Salute to the subscribers on the page, and then you already know. Mm hmm. Bah.